Thank you for tuning in and welcome to Aaron Painting. Today I'm painting up this uh, female vampire from Reaper Bones. Um, and in preparation of painting the mini, I gave it a good wash in hot water and dishwashing soap. I then uh, cut the integral base into a pack for a slaughter base. Um, and uh, primed the model with Wraith Bone Spray. Uh, you're not supposed to prime Reaper Bones models with spray, it says on the package, but I never had any problems with it as long as I washed them first. Uh, and I want to paint her mainly with contrast paint, so uh, yeah, Wraith Bone Spray it is. Anyhow, um, I want this to be a pretty young vampire, so I'm going for a, what do you say, living skin tone, not the pure white uh, stuff. And I'm gonna start with some Gilliman Flesh. Next up, some Saigo Brown, and this is for her boot and the straps holding her cape. Now, some Flesh Terrace Red, and this is for her skirt, or whatever it is, and her cape. Now, some Black Templar, and this is for her hair, as well as everything I want to be metallic later on. So, uh, yeah, the jewelry. Now, I'm gonna take some Talasa Blue, and this is for her crystal ball. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Wraithbone base and this is to do some cleanup, uh, eyes, teeth and uh, where the red spilled over to on the skull and the base, yeah. Now a little bit of Skeleton Horde and this is just for the skull and the base. And as a final contrast paint, a tiny little bit of Blood Angels Red and this is for her eyes. Next up some mechanical standard grey, uh, pretty thinned down, and uh, this is for the tombstone. Before painting in the metallics, I'm gonna take some dark earth from Vallejo, dark earth texture. Uh, and this is of course to texture the base. And I have a especially beat up old brush I use for this. Now, a bit of Glorious Gold from Vallejo Game Color, and this is for all her jewelry and her shoulder pad. Next up, it's time for some washes, starting with some Nuln Oil, and this is for the base texture and the tombstone. Next up, some Eichtan Flesh Shade, and this is for the gold parts. The washes has finally dried, so now I'll take some Terminatsu Stone, and this is for the base texture, the tombstone and the skull. And finally, 
some model color black and this is for the base room. There we have her, ready for the gaming table. Uh, and in no time at all. What took the longest was waiting for the Nuln oil to dry. I've added a little bit of tuft from the Army Painter and I think uh, she's looking good. The face could use a bit more contrast but that is uh, with bone figures, bones figures, the details in the faces are often kind of soft but uh, I don't think it matters too much, especially not when she's on the tabletop. I'm really happy with the result and as you can see you can easily paint Reaper bones with contrast paint. The primer does not rub off and uh, yeah I think it's, uh, it's pretty great. Um, so yeah, let me know below what you think and uh, till next time, take care and bye bye.